first at four, a wetter than normal winter means Boise River flows will stay higher through the end of May. Will that mean flooding in some areas? Today, the Idaho Department of Water Resources hosted its water supply meeting. That's where water officials across the state talked about Idaho's weather and water levels. One topic, increasing river flows. News Channel 7's Jude Binkley joins us for what to expect. Jude. Well, Doug, the high snowpack in the Boise Basin means that officials will have to move 500,000 acre feet of water through the Boise River to help control flooding. Now, the Army Corps of Engineers will be releasing that water from Lucky Peak Reservoir over the next 50 days. And that means the flow of the Boise River will average 5,000 cubic feet per second, or CFS, until at least June. The Boise River starts to see flooding conditions at 6,500 to 7,000 CFS, so it's possible the Green Belt could see flooding depending on the conditions. This uh, doesn't mean that beyond 6,500 isn't possible, which is where we really start to see some uh, impacts and 7,000 is the official flood stage for the river through town. But it doesn't mean we can't go to 6,500 potentially later based on a, a bad combination essentially of precipitation, fast melt, high temperatures, uh, the reservoir filling too fast. Uh, or the system filling too fast. Uh, right now we have, like I said, about 350,000 acre feet of space. So the more space we have, the, the more adjustments and manage we can do. Essentially, the Greenbelt flooding risk depends on how fast the snow melts. Now, the Army Corps of Engineers says they're taking steps to minimize flows going above that 6,500 CFS, and ideally their approach is to stay out of that flood stage. They also say these higher flows for longer periods of time could impact recreation on the Boise River. That's something to keep in mind if you plan on floating, surfing, or kayaking really anytime soon. And, Doug, the average flow at Glenwood Bridge for this time of year is a little over 2,400 CFS. All right, yeah, Jude, it's definitely getting high and so cold, too. And because of that, right now, we can follow up with your story by telling everyone this. The Boise Fire Department is urging people to stay out of the Boise River for a number of reasons. One, the river is running above 3,500 cubic feet per second. That's expected to climb to 4,500 by Thursday. They expect it to stay around that level through next week. There's also concern about debris because fast and high water can take down trees and branches. Riverbanks could also be a hazard because they're slippery and soft this time of year. And finally, water temperatures are cold enough to cause shock and hypothermia to you and your pets. So stay out, at least for the foreseeable future.